It is early 2022 and you have finally made the decision to get into virtual reality. But you're not sure which of the VR headsets to go for since there are quite a few of them. Some of your colleagues and friends got this year the Meta Quest 2 or Oculus Quest 2 as it was called formerly. But you're not sure should you get this one or should you wait for the Sony PlayStation VR 2 which is supposed to come out later this year or might there be a completely different alternative? Well you have come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the headsets that I can recommend to you and I'm going to explain the differences to you. So at the end of the video, you will know which VR headset is the right one for you. Hi there, my name is Sebastian Ang. I'm the founder of this channel of MRTV and I review VR headsets for a living. I own all of them and I've reviewed all of them and I'm completely independent not on the payroll of any of those manufacturers, so you can expect an honest and independent review. So without further ado, absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Before we get into it, I would like to thank VR Cover who are sponsoring this video. VR Cover is the leading VR accessories brand on the market. If you get your first VR headset, you should absolutely stop by their website. They started out with hygiene solutions, but now offer so much more. I myself especially like their new Quest Fitness interface. It's a redesigned, softer, more flexible version of their standard facial interface and now has passive air vents for better air circulation when things get heated up. Of course, it's more hygienic than the original and because you get closer to the lenses, it will even increase the FOV. For more information, simply check out vrcover.com. All right, it's January 2022. Which VR headsets can I recommend to you? Well, most people probably recommended this headset to you, the MetaQuest 2, formerly known as the Oculus Quest 2. And that's for a reason, this is the market leader. This is a cheap headset, which is really good. It's wireless. It can play all the games that you actually want to play and you don't even need a computer for it. So this is going to set you back $299, but you will have to pay a bit more on top because, well, you want to have some accessories like a nice headband and probably that better facial interface. So in the end, probably you can get up to $400 easily, but still it's very cheap compared to the competition. Can I recommend this as well? Absolutely. This is, honestly speaking, a fantastic headset. So this is not a PC VR headset, so you do not need a gaming PC to use it. It's a standalone headset. It has its own store. The games are stored on the device itself. And well, you can bring it anywhere. It is really, really a very good headset. As I mentioned, this is a standalone headset, so you do not need a gaming PC. But how about those games which are only available on PCs, like Half-Life Alyx or Skyrim? Well, the great news is this can also be used as a PC VR headset. So you only need a cable, a USB cable, the so-called link cable, and then you can also play all the games wired to your gaming PC, but even better, you can also wirelessly connect this to your gaming PC using Wi-Fi and that also works really fantastic. And well, that's why this is the headset that most of the people recommend right now and I also can recommend it. But there is still one drawback. At the moment, Meta still requires you to use your Facebook account to log in. Without a Facebook account right now, in January 2022, you cannot use this. However, Meta has said that in 2022, they are going to not have this requirement anymore. And then at this moment, I will be able to fully recommend that. But probably you don't care about Facebook account and privacy. So then I can also recommend this headset to you. Now, what about you don't care about the standalone features of the Quest 2? And for you, it's about playing PC VR games at home, playing those beefy games at even better visual qualities. And well, probably also care about Facebook. Well, then I can recommend to you the HP Reverb G2. The HP Reverb G2 is a wired PC VR headset. So you do need that gaming PC. It's gonna set you back $599, which is double the price 
as the Quest 2, but you're not forced to log in with your Facebook account. And also, well, you have better visual quality. Here you have two LCD panels, whereas in the Quest 2 you only have one panel. So you can adjust the IPD, the interpupillary distance, the distance between your eyes, which will make it more comfortable for you if you do not have that standard 64 millimeter IPD. Also, you have a better audio solution with these headphones, which are like floating over your ears and will give you much better sound as compared to, well, the built-in sound of the Quest 2. Also, the comfort out of the box is better, where for the Quest 2, you will still need to buy additional accessories, like a better head strap. The head strap here already is super comfortable and overall, this is just more comfortable. So the Quest 2 is a fantastic headset, but well, you do have to spend a few more bucks to, well, well to get it to a better quality. Let's say you have to spend 400. Here for 600, you have everything already in the box. Great speakers, a great head strap, and a much better visual quality than here with the Quest 2. But again, this is a wired headset and you do need that gaming PC. If you want to have the best visual quality in virtual reality for a reasonable price, and if you don't care about the wire, then this is the headset that I can recommend to you. And especially for simmers, for flight simmers and for race simmers, for many of those people, this is the headset to go for if you want to have this kind of reasonable under thousand dollar price. But is this headset without its compromises? No, like some th things are simply better here for the Quest 2. Like for example, the wireless capabilities. Also, the tracking is better here. This has uh, a bigger tracking volume. So the cameras that are responsible for the tracking, those four cameras, they are in a better position here with the Quest 2. Here, they are here and on the sides. So the tracking volume is all right here, but well, if you have the controls in your hand and here on the very top and in the very bottom, they won't track so well. So this is a problem of the Reverb G2 and I want to mention it here. Most people won't be affected, but this is a downside of this headset. What if you need the perfect tracking where the controller is also tracked behind your back, for example? Well, then you need to go for a headset that is based on the Valve Lighthouse station tracking. And for that, you will need to put up the Valve Lighthouse base stations, two of them, into your room. And that is a fixed installation and you will have the perfect tracking. And these headsets use this kind of tracking. This is the Valve Index. This is the HTC Vive Pro 2 and this is the Vario Aero and they all come with different price points and different pros and cons. So let me quickly tell you the differences. First of all, for all of them, you have to pay more. The Valve Index is the cheapest of the bunch. It's gonna set you back thousand dollars. This is including the base station that you will need and including really good controllers, the Valve Index controllers. The HTC Vive Pro is gonna set you back $1,400, also with base stations and with controllers, which are not as good as the controllers of this year, the Valve Index. And the Vario Aero is the most expensive one. This is the high-end, the most high-end headset right now. This is gonna set you back $2,000, but without controllers and without base stations. So here, if you don't have them yet, you will still need to buy controllers and base stations, which are probably going to set you back another $600 for sure. And this is all without taxes, of course, right? So you have to pay a bit more for all of that. Yeah, well, so which one of those can I recommend? It depends, of course, on you. How much do you want to spend? If you want to have the best visuals, the best visuals that you can get in virtual reality right now, then you have to go for the Vario Aero highest resolution, really beautiful picture quality and fantastic for all of you who love flight sims, for example. So if you are one of these people who pay lots of lots of dollars for your setup, right? You, you pay thousands of dollars for a nice seat, like a, probably a motion platform or something like this, you know 
it's you, right? <laughs> so then you can look into it. And of course, like my in-depth review, you're gonna find it on my channel or on mrtv.co. For normal people, I would say it's gonna be unreasonable to go for this because the visual quality is the best and it is better than that of the HP Reverb G2, but not like so much better, not like $2,000 better, right? So it's really just like, um, yeah, for the super high end. Then there's still these two headsets. These two headsets, well, both also come with a pros and cons, but for bang for the buck, the Valve Index is better because for $1,000, you get better controllers than here with the Vive Pro. You get the better audio solution, you get the better microphone, and overall, even though the visuals are not as good anymore as even even the Meta Quest 2, and also not as good as this one here, but it's still good enough for most of you, especially if it's gonna be your first headset. So the Valve Index is still a headset that I can recommend. Yeah, for the Pro 2, unfortunately, in my opinion, you don't get this bang for your buck. It is a good headset, but it does come with quite a few compromises. The audio is okay-ish. The visuals, it has a good panel, but the lenses are not so great and you get lots of glare, which unfortunately you also get here. So you see, you do get quite a few compromises. And therefore, if you want to go for a PCVR headset that's wired, I do recommend the HP Reverb G2. So most of you will have to make the decision between the Quest 2 and the HP Reverb G2. Both headset, really fantastic. I think most people are going to choose the Quest 2 since it's so cheap, right? It can do standalone, it can do all of the things and it's a great headset. But again, if you only want to do PC VR, simming and stuff and you want to even have better visuals, then the Reverb G2 is a great choice. Now, I want to talk about the Sony PlayStation VR 2, which is going to come out in this year, later this year. We're speculating it's going to be for the holiday season 2022, but we don't have the exact launch date yet. This is the PlayStation VR 1. And well, right now it's already a couple of years old. It's still not bad, but nothing that I could recommend right now. But how about the PlayStation VR 2? If you only want to buy one VR headset this year, should you wait for it? Well, the PlayStation VR 2 is going to be an incredible headset. It will have an OLED display other than these panels, these have LCD panels and which will have like better colors. You're going to have the perfect black colors. Also, it's going to have the same kind of resolution like the HP Reverb G2. So you can say that it's going to look as beautiful as the HP Reverb G2. So better than the Quest 2. And you're going to see lots of amazing beefy and long games that you don't have on that standalone only, on, on this standalone headset on the Quest 2. Also, on the PlayStation VR 2, you're going to have controllers which are special because they have force feedback in the trigger. So you will feel the difference when shooting different kind of, kinds of weapons. And there's even going to be force feedback in the headset itself. So this is going to be able to rumble and to give you a sensation when playing. So I, I'm confident to say that the PlayStation VR 2 is going to be one of the best headsets, one of the best VR headsets that ever came out. So without a doubt, if you own a PlayStation 5 and you need a PlayStation 5 to use the PSVR 2, it might be worth it to wait for it. Again, if you only want to buy one VR headset in this year. However, well, Every day without VR is honestly speaking a lost day. And we don't know yet when the PSVR 2 is actually going to come out. And you can have these amazing headsets right now. So I would say, well, just get one now. Just get the Quest 2 and dip your toes into virtual reality. See how incredible it is and understand that it, really every single day without virtual reality is a lost day. So yes, the PSVR 2 is going to be amazing, really incredible, but you are missing out. So why not get one of these headsets right now? Enjoy that until the PSVR 2 is out and then you could still 
if you really want, sell this headset again and then go for the PSVR 2. Then one more important thing to mention about the PSVR 2 next to you needing a PlayStation 5, it's also going to be a wired headset. So if you love wireless playing, actually the Quest 2 is the only VR headset right now, which will give you this wireless freedom. All right, and that's everything that I got for this video. All the links to all these headsets, you're going to find them down in the description of this video, and most probably those are affiliate links. So if this was helpful for you, and if this put you on the right track to finding your headset, of course, I'll be happy if you would go through one of those links. Other than that, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if this was informative for you. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, then absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And now I look forward to see you in the next episode.